You know that moment when you're eating your peanut butter and mayonnaise sandwich and you think to yourself, can I make a game in Google Sheets? Well, I had one of those moments. Google Sheets is this sort of thing, I don't know how to explain it. Google Sheets is like Excel. Now, if you don't know what Excel is, um, <laughs> well, it's kind of like Google Sheets. Okay, you can do stuff in this, like name things and, you know, like do stuff. And you can do equations. And this is how I thought of the, the whole video game thing. Because with this, look what you can do. You can do if statements, you can do, oh, that's not what I want to do. You can do, you can change the color of this to different colors. You can change the, the text color. You can um, add stuff together. Like I can get the sum of this and this box. Just like that. Like 2 plus, I mean 1 plus 3 is 4. So with these small equations, and there's actually a lot of equations, you can type in any any <laughs> any letter you want, and it'll give you like a million different equations for that. So I thought, if I can use all of these, can I make a video game? Now, first of all, let me say, um, I haven't posted in a year. Um, I'm sorry about that. I was really busy. Well, it was quarantine, so I wasn't really busy. I, mm, I wouldn't say I'm lazy. Well, well, the point is, I thought I'd post something. And this could be like a series, like a, well, can I make a game in something? Maybe I'll do a Google Slides next. So this is the kind of stuff you can do in this. I made a area of circle finder. You put in um, the radius of the circle and it gives you your um, the answer. That would be 78 for the area of that circle. You can do the area of a rectangle, like put in some random things and it'll get you the answer for that. So how am I going to make a video game out of this? Uh, my first thought was to color the boxes, like this clickbait Mario, and sort of make a playing field where your player can move around by, by like the click of a button or something. And the problem is you don't really have buttons, it's kind of just all like text. So I have to think of some sort of input, like maybe you type in a number, for like an up and a down and a left and right like that i made a little a little control pad like maybe if you put a number in here then it tells it to go up one and it would change the color of that change that back to that yeah i was really stuck on this for a long long time I'm trying to make this movement of a character then i realized that not all games are just moving around there's games like tic-tac-toe. So here's a tic-tac-toe game, fully functional that I made. You put in your uh, X's and O's and they'll automatically change color. Here's how this works. Conditional formatting. It's basically saying when the text in this box is exactly an X, then change the color of the text to orange. And it's also saying that when the text is exactly an O, you change the text color to blue. Now, that's great, but you don't have a system where you can win, right? Wrong. Because I made it so that you can win. You can, you know, play with your friend, and then when someone wins, it displays that. Like the blue team wins, or the orange team wins. Now, what are some other games that we can make with this? How about an addition game where these boxes, I coded it so that they randomly generate a number whenever you want. If I play this game, 
you just put in the answer. What's 20 plus 5? Uh, um, well, here's what happens when you get it wrong. The box can change red, just um, the coding basically says that when this this box plus this box, if it equals this box, then uh, turn it green. And if not, then turn it red. Now when you get the right answer, the box changes to a green color. How can we take this one step further? We don't want, you know, the addition game or tic-tac-toe. We couldn't make this work. So here's the final product. Sudoku. Now it looks like I just, you know, colored the boxes and added some text. Well, I kind of did that, but it also works. Down here, these boxes, as you can see from the code, are just finding out what an entire line of boxes added together equals. And if it equals 45, which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9, which is 45, if it equals 45 in that line, then uh, this will change to true. The way Sudoku works is you need all of these lines up and down, left and right, and each of these to have one of each digit from 1 to 9, which added together is 45. So I use that math of the 45 thing to, to sort of funnel these down into if it's uh, 45 or not. So this, this is basically saying if this entire line and this entire line and this line, if they're all 45 individually, then it will uh, turn this to true. And we have so many because because there's so many different lines. Yep. Yeah, so it's um, finding out if these lines really work for working Sudoku. And if everything is filled in, then this will turn to true and turn green. You can see that if we put in a correct digit, then it will turn green. And if it's wrong, then it turns red. And that's kind of the final thing. I don't know, there's not a lot you can do in Google Sheets. It's not really a game making site, but I tried my best. I'll, I'll keep thinking of this and see if there's any more big designs we can do, see if we can get the uh, Mario thing to work. If you guys like this, then uh, show me that and maybe I can do another one of these. And uh, possibly with like Google Slides and see if I can make a game in that. Yeah, so sorry I didn't post for like a year. <laughs> Bye.